Hello my wonderful viewers. How are you doing? Are you still with me? So, um back in Utawala or am I still in Utawala? Utawala has shown me some love and I'm happy for it. So, um in Utawala, I'm visiting a breeder who's specializing specifically with the Caucasian shepherds. So, today we are going to meet the Caucasian shepherds. Okay, stick with me. This is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers and I'm your girl Linda Kenyita and uh Subscribe. Have you subscribed yet? And also, do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. So, I'll let my guest, or am I his guest, introduce himself and tell us more about the dogs and the kennel. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Karibu. So, tell us your name, introduce the name of your kennel, and tell us... Uh, the dogs you have okay mm -hmm. hi 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 everyone um i'm juma hillary mm -hmm. ogada um uh, i reside in utawala we do our breeding in utawala mm -hmm. we run a kennel bravey hill uh, kennel um uh, not too young not too old <laughs> <laughs> but uh yes of course uh, we welcome you mm -hmm. welcome aboard mm -hmm. we request the viewers to come see us mm -hmm. at any time mm -hmm. we'll leave our contact okay. thank you you're welcome okay show me the dogs okay and we'll revisit that point of not too young not too old <laughs> <laughs> okay. so the caucasian shepherds yes. why the caucasian shepherds uh for me i feel uh, every dog is important mm -hmm. in its own right mm -hmm. every dog is uh impressive mm -hmm. to everyone mm -hmm. um and every dog deserves respect anyway mm -hmm. But uh, I chose Caucasian Shepherds because uh, of the first impression. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, had a, I was walking, I was rather young, uh, mm -hmm. in high school, mm -hmm. a couple of years back, mm -hmm. 10 years about. Um, and uh, I saw a guy with it, I was uh, visiting a friend, mm -hmm. and uh, there were these initially imported Caucasian Shepherds that um, really impressed me. So I went and did my research. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got know-how of the other breeds, mm -hmm. but I felt uh, I'm a big dog person. Mm -hmm. I feel like a big dog person. <laughs> so like there are smaller dog people and cute dog people, but I you felt are like... Big, massive dog person. Yes, yes, oh, of course. Okay. And uh, the Caucasians, I feel, are the ultimate uh, size dogs mm -hmm. and uh, they pack aggression. Mm -hmm. As an African man also, I feel like my dog needs to guard, <laughs> so we need the aggression bit, but uh, they are very balanced. You can find everything within a single breed. You can find size, you can find cuteness, you can find uh, everything you need in a dog in a Caucasian Shepherd. Okay, let's see them. Yes, welcome. Yeah. Oh, I love your setup. Thank you so much. Um, uh, they are rather functional kennels. <laughs> Yes, 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 that is uh, <laughs> that is our boy um, Shaka. We call him Shaka. Tough guy, tough cookie. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, are you, your dogs, are they aggressive? How have you trained them? Are they aggressive? Are they playful? I've, uh, I've trained some for uh, aggression and uh, purely guarding, while others are trained for show. And uh, some are just uh, gentle. Yeah? Mostly our females, we have them gentle because of breeding, outside breedings. And of course, uh, this is something we have to take to account. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I was introducing you to the kennel setup. Yes. yes. So first to begin, uh, we've got our drainage done. Mm -hmm. It is okay, but uh, our dogs don't usually have their poop inside uh, the kennel. They, yeah, they are potty trained. Yes, somehow. We could say somehow. <laughs> but uh, they usually relieve themselves, so to say, um, uh, outside. When they get out to guard, they have uh, shifts for guarding, yes. Um, uh, so the kennel are quite a number. Um, we've got kennels with bulls and a kamini run outside mm -hmm. so that uh, the dog doesn't just stay in one place, mm -hmm. can walk a bit to exercise mm -hmm. and uh, can have the meal outside mm -hmm. or we'll have a caressing place inside. Yeah, eh? we, we do our boards, uh, what do we call them, pallet, eh? yeah, on the inside so that uh, they don't develop cones. Mm -hmm. The pallets usually have a bit of rubber on top, but uh, they, a few got spoiled. We faced them out, so we need to replace them. And uh, yeah. We drain it uh, all the way over there. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a, a mini septic mm -hmm. for this business. Mm -hmm. We've got a run here. This is our tiny puppy run, eh? yeah. but we need to 
we had a, a, a more natural approach but it is not working too well so we'll see what we'll do uh, we are open to more ideas and uh, we'll do the mazeras here yes so yes it becomes easier to clean and nice who do we have here yeah um uh, this is a good boy we call him bufa he yes bufa after a famous athlete mm -hmm. you might know him no. Buffer, the rugby player, Kenya Sevens player. He was here yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we named him Buffer <laughs> after our local hero. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, uh, he's uh, of a great lineage. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, he's a Raskoi Provinci dog. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a nice male. Eh? Mm -hmm. A medium height male, but uh, really, really, really nice. Eh? Mm -hmm. He's got good bone mm -hmm. and uh, his genetic potential is uh, what is most important. Yeah. He's uh, of the lineage of uh, Strasbourg of Bassar, the most titled uh, Caucasian Shepherd in the world, a three-time world champion. So those are, uh, those are lineages that are important when it comes to breeding Caucasian Shepherds. Um, uh, yeah, he's a nice one. Um, I think you like him, huh? Yes. He's a very likable boy. But, mm. Hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> Easy boy, easy. Good, Good boy. He's, uh, and so gentle. Yeah, he's gentle. Mm -hmm. uh, we, he's a more show-oriented male. Oh. Um, and um, really, we are breeding him to take him to the ring. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. To, I hope I get to, to see them. Mm -hmm. him, uh, but we took him to take him to the ring. Okay. Yes, yes. The next one. Um, uh, Bufo. In. 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 Good boy. Good boy. And... Uh, yeah, so we've got a girl, a girl here. Uh, he, she's a, she's an import. Savannah. Yes, this is our girl Savannah. Mm -hmm. She is nine months old. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, she's a daughter of uh, the 2019 champion of Russia, uh, Sikaro Elbas. Um, really nice male, proper movement and great in size. Eh? You know, you also check the size aspect. Eh? So it's something highly important. She's a female. We look forward to breeding her, but uh, we'll breed later. She's only nine months. Eh? Yes, proper height and real nice. Eh? And new to the kennel. Yes, and new to the kennel. She's, uh, she's only recently imported. And uh, yeah, we look forward to the blessing. The, this coat color is also appealing to us. Yes, this is uh, an ultra brindle. And uh, it is really nice. It is not black. It is ultra blind. When you're ex importing, yes. importing the dogs. Yes. Now I can I can hear you tell me about the lineage. Is that something that you have to research on? How do you get to get your information? Well, there is always uh, uh, the kennel clubs that you could talk to. Exactly. You could always ask the breeders uh, for the pedigree when you're asking for a puppy. It is extremely important to know your lineages because it is only in the genetic constituent of your dog that you can breed. Yes, and you can uh, predict somehow the result. And you, of course, when you're getting puppies and when you're breeding puppies, you need to know really what sort of puppy you'll be getting, what size is uh, could the puppy could turn out to be wood coat colors and uh, such a view um those are the things you must take into considerations really yes yes and then you know there is also the pride eh, in uh, having champion lines uh but I, I believe a champion line also has to back it up in size that is why we don't have every champion's line we have specific champions and uh we went for this one we went for uh, to the homeland of the caucasian mm -hmm. yes the caucasus mountains <laughs> the caucasians mountain <laughs> yes, yes oh, okay yes. the yes. next one thank you thank you savannah in in girl in girl in the uh, as as we go to the next one yes. uh, i'll ask you like how how long have you been keeping dogs um it has been uh, s about six seven years mm -hmm actively. Mm -hmm. uh, I initially did some for breeding, but we've had a turnover of dogs, huh? really. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, other Caucasian shepherds, mm -hmm. um, females and a male, mm -hmm. and uh, we've had a turnover, of course, some were sold mm -hmm. because, of course, there was other interest, mm -hmm. and sometimes you need the turnover to refresh your bloodline, oh. of course. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we sell not because of inferior quality, but because, um, well, a change in line is also sometimes good. And we always keep in touch, so they are always within breeding range. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
our pets are always our pets Your you pet know pet. Yes, uh, okay who is, do we have here this is uh, our boy uh, also recently imported mm-hmm. um uh, his name is uh, Bassman Bay Bassman Bay yes Bassman oh, Bay yes 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 he's uh, he's a nice one he's also from Russia um nine nine months nine months male really tall you can see yeah. this is he should grow much bigger than this and it is something we were looking into uh, immense size and also a beautiful coat and a nice head eh? yes and a blocky body so he's got good bone as you can see he's got good height he's got a nice coat so we look forward to him becoming even bigger yes he's on a nice feeding regiment let me get him in so that uh, we cut on the we, The others are jailers they want to be out too <laughs> Oh my god that is at nine months so he's expected to grow bigger than that And uh, we can't lie about age it is always in the pedigree mm-hmm. Yes so he's supposed to be much bigger mm-hmm. He's also a son of uh, Elbas mm-hmm. but on a different female mm-hmm. uh, so Yes, uh, it is something we checked into. So they are not yet able to inbreed, mm-hmm. but after breeding her we could inbreed mm-hmm. uh, on him mm-hmm. to enhance the traits. Oh. Yes, so, so you 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 like you are the first person I have heard say you can inbreed. So well, uh, inbreeding is something that uh, sometimes is not advised, mm-hmm. but you must do it strategic because um you do the dna testing uh dna sampling i think uh, and also do the hip scores mm-hmm. and check the blood of your dog to know what diseases may be in there and what faults could be in your dog mm-hmm. so that when you inbreed mm-hmm. you don't have enhancement of uh, the bad traits you have uh, improvement and uh, really mm-hmm. it is ill advised but for consistency of traits mm-hmm. and uh, consistency within a line mm-hmm. sometimes you need to back breed and inbreed mm-hmm. so that uh, you improve on the constituents that you have like a good head mm-hmm. breeding out an inbred head mm-hmm. is hard but also you could go another way of uh, getting similar line mm-hmm. okay similar mm-hmm. not the same similar lines mm-hmm. of uh, and getting a head that is the same mm-hmm. or the boning that is the same but really mm-hmm. even abroad they do a bit of inbreeding mm-hmm. and within our breed mm-hmm. it is uh, sometimes you could check pedigrees and it is sometimes done but you could do si- uh, a sibling on a far sibling uh, and uh, you could uh, see oh, okay. you could see yes but they are not within breedable range yet oh, yes within... yes there is always the coefficient of inbreeding that is something you always need to check mm-hmm. it must it must not exceed a certain limit mm-hmm. you'll invite problems mm-hmm. and also we are looking at the genetic pool within our country mm-hmm. it is uh, important that uh, we have a diverse range of genetics and uh, a diverse way of breeding oh, okay yes. next ones oh these ones are oh my god i love puppies <laughs> oh my god come 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 they've been yes, eating they and they're a bit tired eh? you know it's hot in utawala so they're inside and uh, the inside is a bit cooler now that you've mentioned it's yes. hot in utawala yes. and um one thing i know about russia it's that it gets really really cold yes yes do how how do the dogs adapt well to our weather well um they do it quite nicely anyway but um uh, you notice that uh, this the winters are very cold in russia for example basman and savanna from the capital of siberia mm-hmm. called novosibirsk it is very cold it gets very cold there but um their summers are also very hot mm-hmm. even oh. hotter than our Uh, normal temperatures here in Utawala. Mm-hmm. So the average in Utawala is about 24 25 degrees. Mm-hmm. That is uh cooler than their normal summers. Mm-hmm. And, you, mm-hmm. and then we also have a kennel setup where the inside of the kennel is also cooler mm-hmm. than the outside. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. And they also go for runs mostly in the night in the evening mm-hmm. when it is about cooler. Mm-hmm. But we are also refining our kennels to have a m- more cooler environment uh, or cooler environment mm-hmm. by doing some trees uh, we'll get some bananas in so that we have the like, bit of ecosystem that is really nice and cold for them 
water? Yes, but we take care of them uh, having water. Mm-hmm. They always have water to drink mm-hmm. so that uh, they don't like overheat and get heat stroke. Mm-hmm. But it is not a problem here in Utawala mm-hmm. because we are not we don't have heat surges and we don't have such high temperatures, but the kennels are also very cool. Mm-hmm. We've got puppies. Mm-hmm. We bred um Valam is Raskoi Provinci mm-hmm. to Arma of Galdon. I'll introduce you to Arma, though she's in bad shape right now because she's just done breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. The puppies you're seeing, uh, you could just go in. The puppies you're seeing are um, about two months old. They just finished uh, their, uh, their vaccinations. Wow, they're big! Yeah, yeah, yeah. At about uh, seven weeks, there were, there are some that were about uh, 12 kgs, and uh, it is all in the bone. Eh? Mm-hmm. We can't overfeed puppies because of uh, issues of development and uh, displeasure, and uh, yeah, of course, we do kibble. Mm-hmm. We do. Uh, we'll introduce you to the feeding yeah, regiment. So. Yes, okay. let us get you to the dog. The other one. Yes, yes let us have this one on the, uh, in the corner. Baby, baby. <laughs> The, the the one who's seeing me and backing <laughs> like <laughs> this one is a tough cookie yeah? mm-hmm. he is a, a, a pure god mm-hmm. um he listens though mm-hmm. uh, i could show you mm-hmm. uh, he listens uh? once we are here mm-hmm. he reacts <laughs> easy boy easy easy so you see he yeah. listens uh? mm-hmm. and uh we call him shaka mm-hmm. um really nice male mm-hmm. We didn't get him registered. It was a, a bit of a problem. He, he was one of our first ones, mm-hmm. but we totally fell in love with him. Mm-hmm. He's my father's dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, okay. so yeah, he's a nice one. The coat is really nice. Mm-hmm. He's a bit of red and black. And also yes. the color, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like the color. Mm-hmm. Yes, the mm-hmm. coat uh, is really nice. Yeah, okay. We've got more puppies over here. <coughs> hey, 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 boy. Hey, this boy is aggressive. Yeah, easy boy, easy boy. So they are sleeping. The puppies here, though they had uh, a bit of an issue. The puppies mm-hmm. are nice, eh? mm-hmm. but they had a bit of an issue with the uh, cherry eye. Mm-hmm. As you can see, one of them has uh, a bit of cherry eye. Mm-hmm. We have like, a minor surgery done on them mm-hmm. uh, for the replacement of the cherry eye. Mm-hmm. One got an infection mm-hmm. uh, in the eye, mm-hmm. but uh, the dogs are really nice. We are dealing with it well. Mm-hmm. It is not affecting the appetite. Okay. So it is. we are hopeful that in about five days, mm-hmm. they'll, the cones will be off mm-hmm. and they'll be up and running again. Mm-hmm. But he is a big boy. Mm-hmm. We had two liters. So we had, uh, that is a total of about uh, 14, puppies. 14 puppies. Yes, uh, though we had some unfortunate occurrences during birth uh, in a certain female, but uh, yes. Okay. Yes, the, the third eyelid uh, will be replaced. The surgery involves uh, having an incision mm-hmm. on the inside mm-hmm. to replace the third eyelid in its socket uh, and then uh, administering some steroid and antibiotics uh, and pain relievers to, for the healing. It is something that uh, our, our vet surgeon knows how to do. Yes, and uh, he did it and we are hopeful of the return. The puppy is nice. This one was a, a really heavy girl. Mm-hmm. I could show you her. Huh? Let me show you. I don't mind showing you when uh, <laughs> the eyes are ish ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, but she's. Uh, we need to, if we are yeah, to I'm sorry. Now. It looks uh, interesting. Huh? <laughs> it doesn't look nice, but really. Some things happen. You could research cherry eye has its remedies, and the best uh, remedy is usually the surgery, the surgery. but uh, usually prescribed to dogs above. You know, it is not common to have cherry eye in puppies, mm-hmm. but they happen. So, happen. really, yes. Easy. Eh. Eh. Easy, Easy. <laughs> so, this is our, our big girl. She's, uh, she's about 20 months. Uh-huh. She's the mother. She's the mother of the litter. Uh-huh. Um, really nice female. She's Arma from Galdon, mm-hmm. Galdon dog in uh, Bulgaria. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll have, uh, there is a male called uh, Almaz of Akbek. Mm-hmm. He is extreme on size eh? mm-hmm. and uh, we had to get his lineage. Mm-hmm. And uh, this girl is about uh, 80 centimeters at the withers, currently at 20 months. Mm-hmm. Um, after after her breastfeeding, you know, they're usually in bad shape after the feeding and uh, the puppies. So she was uh, about 75 kgs after the breastfeeding. So it means uh, uh, by the time she was pregnant, she could have hit over 100. But her normal is usually around uh, 85 to 90. And that is very large for a female. Uh, she's exceptionally large. 
and uh, we are blessed. She is Alma from Galdon. She is yes, she is out of coach right now, but um, uh, she's been sleeping quite a bit. The kennel here is a bit smaller, but they are meant for holding rather than being kennels. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to do some expansion because of the increased number. Mm -hmm. Yes. So instead of a turnover, we want to keep some more. You want to keep some more. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So we are hopeful of getting some more. So like uh, mm, dogs, the ones with fur. Yes. It's it's like humans. You know, sometimes even us women, when yes. we are breastfeeding, you shed hair. So it's oh. the same thing. Yeah, it happens, and they lose weight mm -hmm. because, of course, there is the sacrifice mm -hmm. of calcium and uh, yes, the feeding. Papi, 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 <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, so she's out of shape right now, mm -hmm. but uh, she's, uh, I promise you, in like a, a month or two, eh? mm -hmm. or rather a month, mm -hmm. she'll be real nice and uh, she has a long coat. Mm -hmm. eh? But uh, of course, yeah. they shade it all. You can even see the tail. Eh? Yeah. They shade it all. Ah. Arma, in, in. But, but, but also, I realize like in. now, when it grows back, yes. it will be even more beautiful. Yes, yes, it will be larger and uh, more. <laughs> More lustrous, eh? okay. but uh, to improve the quality, eh? mm -hmm. we do the kibble. It has some balance of uh, in the nutrition that is essential. Mm -hmm. We do omena, mm -hmm. uh, essential oils, mm -hmm. and we also do eggs. Mm -hmm. They refine the coat really nicely, mm -hmm. and we get the vitamins in so that uh, they're in great shape. Okay. And this one looks different. This one looks uh, different. Um, she didn't develop the way, um, uh, you know, Caucasians are in many types, really. Um, uh, even within the breed, there is the Georgian type, there is the bear type, and uh, they occur in all shapes and sizes of coat and the structure. So for this girl, eh, she didn't grow wide at all. Import, eh? but she didn't grow wide at all. She has a what is the this is this coat color is called the pie balder, but she was initially wolf gray, mm -hmm. but the white just just grew so much. Eh? <laughs> yes, uh, so but uh, is how how old is she? She's about two years, uh, four five months. Eh? Two years, four five months. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, yes, yes. She's friendly. She's friendly. She she also gave birth, eh? mm -hmm. but she hasn't recovered well from oh. the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, but she's also tall. She's mm -hmm. about 81 centimeters at the withers. Mm -hmm. So we like our females large size so mm -hmm. that when it comes to breeding, mm -hmm. we only add uh, a bit of volume, a bit of coat. Mm -hmm. yeah, a big female gives you a wide range of uh, things to play with. When you have a short female, mm -hmm. then you're restricted to looking for male that, uh, males that have height. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, well, we've got one over there that has uh, a lot of height, mm -hmm. but uh, well, we like them tall, we like them with volume. Like now, her offsprings, yes. will they be like her or you're sure they'll come out like the other one? Like, um, really, um, let me get her in. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, uh, they should uh, come, out, uh, come out with their, her height. Eh? And uh, the head type similar, mm -hmm. they should be bigger because the males we may uh, the male we put her on uh, or we put on her uh, was <laughs> was uh, larger on volume, uh, bigger head, bigger bone, and a bigger coat. So it is like improving on her really, yes. And uh, in every case, you just find complementary traits. Now, these are big dogs. Yes. What do you feed them? <laughs> Well, um, uh, the feeding regiment is uh, not too expensive, mm -hmm. always within uh, your pocket. Mm -hmm. Any person could afford the feeding of these dogs. Mm -hmm. We do minced beef, um, we do beef cuts, mm -hmm. uh, actual beef, human grade, but we get it from the slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. um, we do chicken off cuts. Mm -hmm. We do minced chicken. You could find the minced chicken available for the dog quality. Um, there is not like it is not like inferior quality mm -hmm. food, but uh, it is really nice for the dogs. Mm -hmm. I prefer beef, um, just because it's beef. <laughs> sometimes I feed raw. Sometimes uh, I do not. But when you feed raw, you must keep up with the deworming mm -hmm. and the feeding internal organs of animals mm -hmm. for the. Uh, a feed, a raw feeding, mm -hmm. it is uh, not. Uh, it is not advised because you could get uh, worms. Mm -hmm. The in uh, the internal organs of the animals usually have worms, mm -hmm. so it is better if you boil mm -hmm. 
and then serve boiled. And then we also do rice, eh? we also do broken rice. We do professional dog food, we do kibble, that is kibble, um, super premium quality. It is essential because they have the balance of uh, nutrition that is required for their development. Mm -hmm. And then we supplement with the broken rice that is cooked, uh, that is the cooked diet. And then the kibble is the dry food diet. Eh? We do a bit of eggs. Mm -hmm. We do omena. Omena is good. Mm -hmm. We like omena here. Um, uh, yeah, that is basically it. Mm -hmm. And then that is to keep up with the di dietary requirements of the dogs for development. We do vitamin supplements. Mm -hmm. uh, it is essential. Mm -hmm. We do adequate deworming. Mm -hmm. We do uh, deworming monthly mm -hmm. for the teenagers, the growing ones. Mm -hmm. And then it stretches to every three months for the very adult dogs. Mm -hmm. For the puppies, from the time they're born, they are dewormed every two weeks, mm -hmm. depending on the weight, of course. Every two weeks, all the way to about six, uh, uh, four, five, six months, mm -hmm. we advise they are dewormed that way. Mm -hmm. uh, in which case, um, we don't feed them too much raw food. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, but to be safer, you could boil. Mm -hmm. But uh, the raw food is okay. Um, it is nice in bulking up. You find that, uh, I think raw food uh, scientifically stays, uh, is broken down slower in the stomach compared to the boiled and cooked food. So it is important. And also you, you do your vitamins well and you are deworming nicely. Um, have you come across any health challenges? Other, the, the puppies, they underwent uh, surgery, but with the big dogs, have you undergone any health challenges yet? Um, well, I've had a couple of issues. Issues are normal when it comes to breeding. I've had uh, cherry eye. I introduced you to the puppies with cherry eye. Um, they happen. It is not common, but it happens. Uh, we've had uh, no case of entropion, which is also another eye issue. But we've had no case of that. But uh, um, we've had uh, tick fever um, treatable. But that is when uh, our dog went out. We have uh, the pesticides and insecticides that uh, we do for the dogs. Uh, various brands, uh, yes. And uh, what else have we had? Uh, so it was uh, tick fever that caused the dermatitis. So we've had dermatitis. Of course, um, another illness, not really, but there is usually fluctuation in uh, appetite, which has to be checked because they always have to eat well. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, when it comes to importing dogs, yes. what is the process? How do you get to say, I'm going to get a dog from Russia and you actually get it? It is not um, uh, sorry. Uh, it is not too difficult doing it. It is a process though that you have to be cautious not to spend your money on uh, hot air. <laughs> yes. So like um, uh, you don't do direct transactions first, and uh, there is a safe way of doing it. There are agencies you could use um, and agencies you could use for logistics. For logistics uh, to wire your transactions and then there is the bit of dog scouting eh? you could use already established um, uh, channels like from other breeders because they have a relationship uh, and have uh, done uh, the thing uh, before you could do other the breeders they've done but uh, when you are going for something you need uh, you could call their kennel club or write their kennel club an, uh, an email they advise you, tell you their breeders, um, get in contact with the breeders, use uh, the possible communication channels. Huh? Uh, sometimes you may, uh, sometimes you may need to use Google Translate uh, for proper communication. But uh, there are countries that do English because there are Caucasians in Italy, in Germany, in um, Slovakia, uh, Russia mostly, Georgia. Yes, and you have to be specific on the type you want. You have to insist on what you want so that you don't get something wrong or something that you, you wouldn't like, yes. So, as a viewer, yes. and I'm thinking about getting a Caucasian shepherd, yes. what do I need? The preparation. This is a big dog. How, how, how prepared should I be? Mm, yes, well, uh, you need first to establish a, a relationship with the breeder you're getting. Send you. Mm -hmm. Getting the communication uh, uh, going with them means you'll always have support. Eh? We'll always have support for the 
will always have you'll always have support for the breeding uh, for the, for your breeding and for your upkeep first of all you need uh, your relationship with the vet mm -hmm. and also you'll need to get uh, the contacts to have the food going you need to know Caucasians have specific dietary requirements and uh, that is beef, tons of beef and a real nice chicken and a good kibble for them. So you need to be ready for the feeding. It is not expensive. But also you need a nice kennel, you need clean water. But it is just like any other, having any other pet, it is not too specific. But you know, big dogs are uh, tough to handle. You need to be strong and you need uh, the old dogs have a character. You need to learn your puppy. That is why you need the communication with the breeder. The, you, the puppy you get may be an aggressive puppy and that is something you need to understand uh, so that you know how to handle it and you know how to scale down or scale up your puppy. You may get a shy puppy, which is important. Eh? Uh, you treat it well. You keep the puppy in great shape, but we need to also do the cleaning, uh, you shampoo your dog really nice, and also other supplements, and uh, you get your, okay, that is in communication with your vet, of course, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Now, if I decide to get a puppy, how much do I need? Uh, well, uh, affordable money. <laughs> what is affordable money? <laughs> well, uh, we always say there is a dog for everyone. Mm -hmm. Once you're here, we will have a communication with you and understand your financial situation. But uh, we, they usually go for around, uh, do we say $2,000 or 200,000 Kenyan shillings? Yeah. Or um, uh, let us do a rough estimate because we fluctuate in prices mm -hmm. depending on fast the times mm -hmm. and uh, also the breeding, the sort of breeding because we have d breedings for, we may call it, extreme champion lines and extreme size and uh, breeders understand that uh, they are quantified differently oh, okay. yes so you'll need to also know that but that is about 150,000 200,000 okay. let us give it 180 uh, okay. 1800 dollars that is okay. fair um, and now parting shots give us a parting shot for the dog lovers out there who love big dogs give them a piece of advice yes um uh, Welcome. Uh, I welcome you to Brivey Hill Kennels. Um, we are kind. We will attach our contacts. Um, um, the Caucasian Shepherd is a dog for you. It is the ultimate guardian for you. They call it the bear dog. They are large in size. Uh, it is something for everyone. You could keep it in your penthouse and uh, <laughs> in your crib. And it is uh, nice also because, uh, but you'll remember the far and what. So there is the bit of upkeep. And... Uh, Yes, uh, we have uh, the plans for you. Mm -hmm. We will improve our kennel mm -hmm. and uh, work all the way upwards. Mm -hmm. You come and we will consult each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, welcome, welcome. Okay. Yes. So people, I've been impressed today. And um, I don't know what to say, but here it is, the Caucasian Shepherd. If you think this is the dog for you, then I hope you get to know where to look at and um this has been awesome it's been nice i hope you have subscribed so far if you have not please remember to subscribe and also do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video this is dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers and i have been your girl linda kenyita it's been awesome it's been wonderful Mwah! subscribe uh, this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel uh, for dog lovers and dog breeders. Welcome, this is Bravey Kennel. Like and subscribe and share. Le hit the, la the notification bell. Yes, you're welcome.